guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nail Kamir's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, we have our nail ready to go. So um, we've done a standard tip and overlay extension using the Skin Aura and I've just got it all fouled up. So... First things first, I'm coming in with my no wipe top coat so that I've got a nice smooth base because I'm going to be painting the French on. If I leave it all roughed up, the uh, the gel polish will bleed and you won't get a nice crisp French, which actually, to be fair, wouldn't be the end of the world because we're going to be adding some more detail onto it and covering up the edge of the French anyway, so it's not the end of the world. So pop that in, for the, in the lamp for me, please, Sam. Um, so I'm using some from the Dragon Glass collection. I've not used these for ages. So I'm using Firestorm, Starblaze, and that one. Lagatha? Lagatha? Lagatha. 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 <laughs> I'm going to go for Lagatha because Lagatha sounds a little bit rude, if I'm honest. So I'm going to go for Lagatha. Um, so these are the magnetic ones. I'm undecided whether I'm going to use the magnet or not. I don't know. Well... I'll figure it out. Right, Sam, do I do top to bottom ombre or left to right ombre? I don't even know why left you Left to right, I don't know. Me. I'm going to go left to right. If I'd said top to bottom, you'd said left to right. If I'd yeah. said left to right, you'd have gone top yeah. to bottom. Right, so I'm going to use Lagatha first. <laughs> and I'm going to use this one just to paint my French. This is going to get covered up. <laughs> Sorry, ticking away. Um, so I want quite a nice deep. Oh my god, this is so sparkly. I want oh. quite a deep French because I want the focus to be on the French. Usually, I'm I'm a big fan of um, just having. I always do a deep smile line, but I like to have more of the natural nail on display. Um, but I'm going to get more colour on this now because we are doing an ombre uh, right so when you're happy with how that's looking which I think I am just give that a flash cure for me please Sam clicky clicky where's my ombre brush I've seen you because I've used you it's not you Not you. Not you. There it is. I do have an ombre brush. Okay, right. So let's go in with Firestorm first. Ooh. So Firestorm is the red in this collection. Let's make sure that we focus. So I'm going to paint this down this side. I'm just going to kind of come up to... <clears throat> come up to that smile line again we are going to be painting over the smile line a little bit so don't stress about it being perfect i'm just gonna the um by the way the uh, line that we did in lagatha was just that had a guide and i wanted to use the lightest of the three colors so that it could get covered up okay so in with the firestorm and then i'm going to come in with star blaze so Starblaze, even though it looks yellow on the front, it is actually a real nice burnt orange colour. Oh my god. So I'm going to pop some of that in the middle there. Clean my brush off. And just take that up to the smile line. Now I don't know if you can see already, this is going to need minimal blending. These dragon glass colours just, oh my god, they ombre into one another so beautifully. It's unreal. They make light work of any ombre. I'm going to lay those nice and close to one another like that. So with the ombre brush, looks like this. Have I just touched your nail? Yes, I have. It's okay, it's not a problem. This is seriously like a little tickle is what we're going to do. We're just going to tickle them in. Look, look, that's done. That is blended beautifully. Look at that. Same again with these two. 
just blend this in. Look, look, look at this. Right, to magnet or not to magnet, that is the question. I'm going oh, look at that, Sam. I'm gonna magnet them. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, okay. giving me all the feels. Now, how do we want to magnet this? Do I want the magnet over there? Do I don't want the magnet over there? I don't know. I think let's keep it there. But then what I'm going to do, because I still want to retain some of the sparkle, I'm just going to disturb the gel polish a little bit. Can you see how that brings the sparkle back out? So I'm just disturbing it a little bit so that we have our cat's eye effect but we'd still maintain some of that sparkle look at that maybe a little bit more just okay so i'm pop that into the lamp for me please okay so now i'm going to top coat this nail again i really really love the dragon glass collection Got some really nice colours in there as well. Look at the movement. Okay, cure that for me, please, Sam. Um, so now I'm going to be using some of the artisan paint in black. So um, doing the sugar in effect with black glitter is always tricky. Um, I recommend, well, I'm going to show you what I recommend. That's why I'm doing this video. Uh, <laughs> But where's my brush gone now? Oh, it's there. It's right in front of you, Lisa. Right in front of you. I'm going to paint the detail in the artisan paint. And I will never cure my glitter into that because it's just not going to clock. It's just not going to cure. The um the light, LED or UV, whichever you're using, is going to struggle to get through any of the black glitter. So I'm going to do the detail that I want in the black artisan paint and then we'll go over that with a top coat and we'll set the glitter into the top coat. This would look nice with the purple as well, you know that new purple that we got today? Can't remember you, and you were desperate for that colour. I'll give you that colour next time. Next time we do some film and you can have that purple. Can we do a, a quality street inspired nail Ooh, just yes. using that purple, please? Yes. Oh, my tummy is rumbling, Sam. I'm so, so hungry. hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Right, so I've got my basic smile line in there. Uh, one sec. So I'm going to take this across the top as well. This is going to get thicker. I'm just doing my basic outline first. All the way around the edge. And then we can connect that to our smile line. You know it's almost time to stop filming when the dogs start getting restless. When they start want to play, starting to want to play. You know we've done a full day's filming. I think they can sense it, can't they? They can sense we're hungry, we're restless. I am so hungry. Right, so I'm just going to start to thicken this up around the edge now. So another important thing, same as with your black gel polish, it's the same with your black artisan paint. Don't go too thick with it because it'll just bubble in the lamp. Okie dokes. Right, so I'm going to pull down in the middle here and kind of take it to a point
bit knocking my glasses on the phone. <laughs> and then along the bottom of the smile line here, I'm going to add some kind of droplet things. I don't want to say it's like oozing or anything. It's more like a, I don't know, we're going for like a, Sam, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't even know, do you? No, because I actually don't know what you're doing until doing. this finishes. It's reminding me, you know, when, at the minute, it reminds me, you know, when people make them cakes and they just run the Oh, the drip effect, the yeah. It's going to look so pretty with the black glitter. Now, I don't want to cover up too much of this. No, don't cover up with sparkles. No, so well, you're going to have more sparkles in a minute. I'm so hungry. That's not, my, <laughs> that's not my tummy that time. Do you my tummy? Oh my god. Yeah, both of us forgot we were filming today, so neither of us had pack lunch ready. Nope. That was Max grumbling at me. Right, so along here as well, I'm just going to do just some lumps. Is that a technical term? Lumps, bumps. <laughs> Max, shush, baby. Shush. Mama's working. Mama, you know. Celestial, that's the word I was looking for. So, you know, we're October. I don't want to go Halloween-y with anything. I thought I was getting a birthday cake. <laughs> So we're going for like October, autumn, alternative, <laughs> borderline. Max, stop. Baby mummy's working. Just can't start getting... No, no, no. Don't be getting noisy. No noises. Uh, let's do another one up here. Oh, pinky one. At any point as well, by the way, you can flash cure these, which I really, yeah, let's, I was going to say, I really should do that. Because <laughs> it's usually at this point I start to mess up. <laughs> then I have to wipe the whole thing off. So let's have a quick flash cure. Oh, all I can think about is food right now. Food, 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 food. I know, you're the same. You're a Labrador, that's all you ever think about, food. Right, bang that out, Sam. So I'm going to do one more of these little stars. Hang on a minute, guys. Telling them doggies off for being noisy. I'm going to do one more star down here. Do you know what the new annoying thing is? We've got to do all of this again. In top coat. But it's always best to have your black background down. So that if you um, do miss any bits with your... Um, Where's my needle? If you do miss any bits with your top coat, then you've still got the... Um... <sighs> Which one's my top coat? I can't remember. Let's get another doll of top coat. What am I doing? No, I don't need top coat. What am I doing? Lisa, pay attention, please. Right, needle in my black artisan paint. And now I'm just going to add some little dots. I am loving this, Sam. I was hoping it wasn't going to look too Halloween-y because I don't want a Halloween now. But I think this is actually ticking all the autumn celestial boxes, don't you think? It certainly is. Okay, Sam, give that a full cure for me, please. Okay, so that has just come out the lamp. I've popped a dollop of no wipe top coat 
on my palette. Now I'm just going to loosely trace over everything that we've just done. Wherever you want the glitter to be. So if you don't want, so all my little black dots, I'm not going to put glitter on those. Just because they're so small, but everything else I want the glitter on. So that's where I'm going to top coat. Uh, the big black stars as well, I'm going to top coat. So take your time doing this. I mean, you're going to have to take your time doing this. You can't rush this. Okay, a little bit on this star, a little bit on this star, and this one as well. Right, so while your top coat is wet, we are going to get our glitter. Now I've found a super fine black glitter, and I'm going to get my old makeup brush, and I'm just going to start sprinkling this on into that wet top coat make sure you get ample on make sure you've got your full coverage a little bit extra for good luck and that can go into the lamp for full cure please Sam, make sure that thumb goes in flat thank you okay so that's out the lamp right i'm hoping fingers crossed this looks good Oh, just a couple of things to tweak here. I'm happy with that. Right, so some of that chunky glitter just needs removing, especially around these stars. It's not too much of an issue around there. But I just lost a little bit of definition. And they're not really stuck, if you can see they're coming off. Easy enough. I don't know if you can see. I don't even know if I'm in shot at the minute. <laughs> yep, you are in shot. That's okay. So just removing little bits of unwanted glitter. And they're coming off lovely and easy. Oh, Sam, I love it. A few little bits of glitter that have just stuck exactly where I don't want them. All around here, look. Stars are not in me. It's got stuck in that corner. A good brush, and that'll be it. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's wrong, is it? Did you hear my tummy? I heard your tummy then. There we go, guys. Right, what cute coil are we having? Which one haven't we used? We've used melon, used coconut, used banana. I think we used them all, haven't we? Let's go for mango. I think we might use mango, but never mind. Oh, I love that. So if you didn't want the um, rough texture of the glitter, you can then go over. This black glitter's gone everywhere. Um, you can then go over with another top coat. So I really like that. Super pretty. And that was with the dragon glass. 
There you go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today, you can find on our website, which is nelkme.co.uk. And I will see you in the next video.